Hi, my name is Darren Youngstrom, and I lead New Vintage Church in Santa Rosa, California, about an hour north of San Francisco in the Sonoma County area. And today's verse of the day is Matthew 6, 14. Jesus has just finished uh, teaching his followers about prayer in what we know today as the Lord's Prayer. And he wraps it up with this verse, Matthew 6, 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Which at first glance is a little confusing if you've ever heard of the concept of grace. Is he saying that he will only forgive us if we forgive other people? What was all that grace talk about throughout the Bible? For it's by grace you've been saved through faith, not by works that no one should boast. And the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. For John three sixteen, the most famous of all, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Life. What is he trying to say? Well, in my family, we have three little kids and we're working on their relationships. And uh, it's not uncommon for them to be best friends and worst enemies all in the same hour. And when they get on the side of enemies, we make them learn to specifically apologize and specifically forgive. So the child A has to say, I'm sorry that I slapped you in the face when you took my cookie. Child B has to say, well, I forgive you for slapping me in the face when I took your cookie. And I'm sorry that I took your cookie. And back and forth they go. But every once in a while, they get a little stubborn and they just don't want to do it. They're just not interested in participating in the forgiveness business that we're trying to teach them about. And so they suffer the consequences of their unforgiveness. They might uh, lose out on a privilege or be sad or have some disconnect between mom and and dad, but make no mistake about it. They are still our kids. They're still in our family. They're, they're, they're welcome in our family. Their willingness or unwillingness to participate in forgiveness has nothing to do with their standing as our children. And that's true for us as well. It is by grace that you've been saved through faith. But God has some house rules, like we have some house rules. He has some best practices, like my house has some best practices. And what he says is this, listen, don't come waltzing into my office asking me to forgive you if you've still got a grudge that you're holding against your brother or sister. I'm going to send you right back into the living room where they're waiting, and you need to deal with that mess before you come bring that mess to me. It's not that I don't love you. It's not that you don't have eternal security with me. It's not that you don't have salvation. It's that if you're going to be in this family, one of the family rules of believers in Jesus is that we forgive each other, and we don't go running off to God to get forgiveness that we want if we're not willing to deal with it in our own lives.